felters and welcome this week we're going to look at something that i ordered which i think might be of interest to some people um this is a letter from the lady who posted it to me this is i think it's about 15 or 16 different types of wool from some really unusual sheep there's things like well corridale's not unusual but manx polworth romney beltex suffolk all sorts so i'm going to get them out and have a look through i'm going to show you them here we are, so I'm going to try and get this, hopefully, in shot. Uh, first one, Lincoln Long Wool. My goodness, that is really long. Can you imagine that on a coat, on a sheep? So that must be washed. Some of this is washed, some is unwashed. So she's also given me hints and tips on how to wash it. I'm going to have to wash my hands after this one because that is really dirty. But look at that, that is beautiful. The length is amazing. That's really good. I'm just going to grab any bag. Oh, Brill, she's labelled everything. I was worried it wouldn't be labelled. This is Shetland. And I was interested in the Shetland because it looks very much like um, tiny little curls, like blue-faced Leicester, but even smaller curls. So you get 100 grams of each in this. And I will link her Facebook below. I don't know if it's something she's doing all the time, um, but I will check with her before I do link it. So yeah, so that's Shetland. Kerry Hill. Oh, I've never seen Kerry Hill before. Um, that's just a regular wool. Tiny little ringlets. I don't know if it's going to pick it up. Tiny little ringlets on the end. Yeah, that's better. Oh yeah, there are some little ringlets actually. Let's take that back. There's, the ringlets are all sort of hidden. They would be good. There we go. Next bag of goodies. White Ryland. So Ryland sheep come in lots of different colours. White Ryland, I should imagine it'd be quite a regular fleece. I don't think it would be great. It's um like for effects, but uh, probably great to card. That's quite a nice colour actually, as is. Ryland. I'm going to run out of room. I'm uh, just going to pick this one because I think this is Ryland again. Oh no, it's blue texel. Um, oh, very much like the um, colour change in that with the white bits. I don't know if it's picking it up that well. Blue texel. Right, blue face Leicester, which I order lots of blue face Leicester. That's washed because it smells nice, which is good because I hate washing blue face Leicester. Blue face is beautiful. Look at those little curls. There we go. Oh God, I'm going to run out of room. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Of course, right, 16. So this is a regular Ryland. Um, and these are great for, like, if you want to do um, a nice hair. Look at that. It's fantastic colours. Um, and it's a good texture as well. So that's beautiful. Ryland. It's quite nice actually. Not washed. You can smell. Ooh, what's this? Right, Manx. <sighs> I don't know how to say it. Manx Lo Lo Logan? Manx Logan. So this I won't have seen. I might try and put a picture of the sheep up if I can find some royalty free pictures. This is unusual. It's a lovely colour. Really lovely. Not mm, no, I think it's not washed. I like that colour an awful lot. Ooh, what's this? Grey-faced Dartmoor. Now, I've seen quite a few grey-faced Dartmoor. And again, wow, that is really nice. The length of the curls are what's impressive. That is really long. And that is quite clean, as it is. Ooh, what's this? <gasps> oh, blue-faced Leicester lamb. So, unwashed lamb now i notice there's a lot more curls in that so that's interesting so lamb's wool blue face leicester i'm really gonna have to try and wash that nicely that's done oh that looks lovely this is polworth 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 i reckon yeah it's pretty tricky to get curls out of that probably have to uh hmm Smells nice. It's a good white. Probably have to card that to use it. Sorry, the 
pile is getting bigger. Romney. So Romney, oh, it's pretty a bit similar to the um, Ryland, but in the white. Quite crimpy. So I have done a video on wool, um, the microns and the length of wool and, and what makes up sort of measurements to do with wool. This is Portland. I'll link that video at the end. Oh, this is nice. Do you know, she said it was 100 grams of each. This is more than 100 grams, I think. Again, it's a lovely wool, lovely and soft. Um, it's got a quite a big crimp in it. Yeah, there's quite a big crimp in that. I wonder how that would come up when I wash it. Corridale. So Corridale is what I get an awful lot, especially at World of Wool. So again, I probably can't see super usable curls. So, oh well, yeah, it's, it's very crimpy again, very tiny crimpy, but I would have to card wash and card that. Nice colours coming up. Castle Milk Morit. They are unusual. Really similar to the Ryland. I'm glad she's labelled everything. I would not have a clue. Um, look at the colours. That is a nice colour. That is a really quite a deep brownie chestnut colour. But yeah, great um, blend of colours in that one. Now, what's this? This looks familiar. Tea's Water. Yeah, Tea's Water is a really good alternative to Valet. Um... She did say, she was perfectly honest and said some of them have got quite a bit of vegetable matter. So these are lovely. If they are washed and come up, they look really good as valet wool, but that's tea's water. What's this one? Lester Longwall. Oh, I haven't seen this before. Oh, yes, I have, I think, Lester Longwall. Maybe I have. So that's nice. But look, we've got different colours. I've got some greys. Oh, I like that a lot. So that's really usable. That's the kind of things I would like. Look at that little one. And then, what's this rough? Alpaca! <laughs> I've got some alpaca. So alpaca, quite often it can appear to be quite a short fibre, actually. Um, I guess it's not. But you could create a coat effect with that. Yeah, you could. So that's the alpaca. And then this one felt really soft, which is... Oh, it's an alpaca again. Yeah, I was... Oh, it's super soft. That is not so soft, that alpaca. This alpaca is super super soft it's lovely would i make a coat effect out of it no it's very short i'd probably just have to card it but anyway so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen different types of wool so there we go. I might do a bit of washing and show you some of them, but um, I hope you found that interesting to see some of the different types of wool. It's interesting to see that quite a few of them are very similar, um, but it's also interesting to see that amazing length of wool there. That is Lincolnshire long wool, so uh, definitely going to look into getting some of that. Thanks, everybody.